Hi friends, welcome to EDPD World. This is Varun Ganga. Friends, in our last session we have seen some examples regarding how to find cube of a given number by using Yavadunam Sutra which are very closer to the bases rather than tens, hundreds and thousands. And now in this session we are going to see one more example regarding the same topic. So why to wait? Let us see what that example is. So the example that I am going to take in this session is find the cube of 402 so friends in order to find the cube of 402 we do have some parts of procedures that we have to follow so the first part of procedure that what we have to do here is the left part so here in the left part the first step what we have to do is we have to find the nearest base of the given number 402 and the nearest base of 402 is 400 after finding the nearest base Moving to step number 2, now what we have to do here is, we have to find the axis. And I think you know that the axis is found out by comparing the given number with the base. So here, the given number is 402 and the base is 400. If you compare these two numbers, we get an axis of 2 and it is taken over here. After finding the axis and moving to step number 3, now what we have to do here is, we have to multiply the axis with 3. So therefore, 2 into 3 is equals to 6 is the product that we are going to get after finding the product moving to step number four now what we have to do here is we have to add the product what we have got to the base so therefore by adding 400 plus 6 we get 406 and this is the required left part what we will get here after finding the left part that is after completing the process of left part now moving to the process of middle part the first step what we have to do here is we have to take the answer what we have got in the left part. So here the answer what we have got in the left part is 406. By taking this 406 into consideration, now what we have to do is we have to find the nearest base as well as axis. So here the nearest base of 406 is 400 and the axis is 6. I think you know that the axis is found out by comparing the number 406 with the base 400. So if you compare these two numbers, we get an axis of 6 and it is taken over here after finding the nearest base and axis now moving to step number two now what we have to do here is we have to multiply the new axis with the actual axis so here the new axis what we have got is six and the actual axis what we have got is two so therefore by multiplying six into two we get twelve as the product and this product is regarded as the required middle part after finding the left part and the middle part now moving to the process of right part now what we have to do here is the first and last step we have to find the cube of actual axis so here the actual axis what we have got is 2 and by cubing the number 2 we get 8 and this 8 is treated as the required right part now after finding all the parts that is the right part the middle part and the left part now what we have to do here is we have to take the base what we have got that is 400 and we have to ignore the zeros then we get a number called 4 and we have to multiply the square of the number 4 to the left part and 4 to the middle part so therefore the left part what we are going to get here is 406 into 4 square which is, is equals to 406 into 16 and that is equals to 6496 after finding the left part and moving to the middle part now what we have to do here is we have to multiply that is 12 into 4 then we get a product called 48 now after finding this left part and middle part now what we have to do here is we have to write all the parts what we have got in an order so let us write them in an order so friends now i am placing all the parts in an order like this so this is the left part this is the middle part and this is the right part after placing all the parts what i have got now let us place some horizontal and vertical bars like this so friends i think you know that here we are finding the cube of a three digit number and the base what we have taken here is 400 and i think you can observe two zeros in the base here so therefore we have to take only two digits in right part as well as in middle part but in left part we can have as many digits as we want so friends if we observe the right part answer what we have got it is a single digit number so in order to make it a two digit number now what i am going to do here is i am going to place a number zero in front of the number 8 so therefore we get here 08 in the right part 
Now moving to the middle part, here we are having a two digit number so there is no problem in it and we can write this number 48 directly in our answer that is in the middle part. After writing the answer in middle part and moving to the left part, here we can have as many digits as we want. So therefore, I am writing the number 6496 directly over here. Now let us place one more hard channel bar and by combining all the answers what we have got in all the parts, we get the final result. And therefore, we can say that 402 cube is equals to 64,964,808. So friends, this is the way how we can use Evadunam Sutra in finding the cube of a given number which is very nearer to the base 400. So friends, I hope that you have understood pretty well what I have explained in this session and in the next session, we are going to have some more examples regarding on the same concept. For watching this video, thank you, have a nice day.